Well, when I became Muslim, I learned, you know, about Islam. And our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, he was an orphan, okay, and everybody accepted him. And out there, there's thousands of Muslim children in Britain waiting for adoption, okay. And uh, that was part of my inspiration uh, to go out and adopt as a Muslim, uh, except these children. You know, it doesn't matter if you're the one that's given birth to them. You know, to me, there's no difference of giving birth or adopting. Okay, children are children at the end of the day. They never ask to be born. They never ask to be in the situation they're in. Okay, so that was my inspiration mostly. And also, I couldn't have any more children myself and love children who wanted more. And this was my way of doing some good and also pushing myself forward and being strong and showing to women that they can do this too, you know. Well, I've got six children all together, two from uh, my husband's previous relationships. Um, they do their own thing, but they're, they're in my house, they're my kids, you know. I've got two birth children, they also do their own thing, and two adopted children who do their own thing. Meaning to say, yes, they are all Muslim, but they're all different in their own way. My oldest one doesn't want to wear a, a headscarf, doesn't see the need of it, that's her choice. My son, he, he follows Islam in his own way, you know, uh, doesn't like people preaching to him, but he'll, he'll go when he wants, you know, to the mosque. When I met my children, who I adopted, um, I travelled all night, <laughs> drove down, got a fight for my car, <laughs> for speeding, <laughs> in the excitement. And when we reached there, I, I was allowed to take the children up to the school where their elder siblings were to meet them. And as I was pushing the twin buggy, one of the care workers came up to my little girl, Sarah, the elder one, and had says to her, who's this? And the little girl goes, that's my new mummy, you know? And I, to describe that feeling, it still gives me shivers inside, that the loving feeling that this child had given me, and this was the first day she'd met me. She only knew me for about half an hour, and I was her mum. And all she had known was a, 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 an album, a photo album that described, this is your new mummy, this is your new sister, this is your new brother. Look at the love you, I got that day and how much you get now still from them, you know. It's amazing, you know. The difficulties I had to face was a, a few, few examples I'll give you, okay. Um, one was, um, the social worker says, so being married to Muslim and being Muslim, does that mean your life's like East is East? I don't know if you know the film, but I, I looked at her and I thought she was joking and she was quite serious. And I says to her, oh my God, you need some education, dear. You know, we're not all like that, you know. <laughs> In society, there's different people, but no, it's not like that at all. Professionals don't really know I wish they would come to us so we can tell them what our background really is like, you know. I work with a, a group of foster parents um, in a self-help group and some of them have had Muslim children. So what I do is I give them, they ask me what's namaz and things like that and I tell them. I give them um, information on how a Muslim child would like to settle in for prayers and things like that. Anything they need to know, I tell them. If I don't know, I'll find out for them. My whole experience of going through the adoption system <laughs> uh, helped me help a, f a few of my friends, to be honest with you. One in particular, whose sister had died and the children had ended up, up in the care system in England. Uh, she didn't know anything about how she could get access to these children. So it ended up that we, we ended up going into court ourselves and made her prepared. She, she was very, very timid. Uh, she says, I used to be a mouse and now a tiger, <laughs> you know. Um, so going through the court system with her, being her Mackenzie's friend, helped her to get access to these children, the children who now have relatives that they couldn't have before are doing well 
and uh, she now has access, holidays and everything for them and I'm so happy. Well, a, a few people have said, you know, like, um, because my birth children are mixed race too, you know, uh, they've looked and they've said, oh, she doesn't really look like you. And I went, right, okay. But she looks like her dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, and your brother. She's actually got the same face as my birth son. You know, um, I've adopted my kids, but I don't look at it like adoption. I look at it like I've had them. They've been mine from the beginning. What's worth it is, at the end of the day, you got the love from that child, a child you wouldn't have had love from if you hadn't adopted. You know, yeah, there's ups and downs. For goodness sake, there's ups and downs with all children, whether they're adopted or not. Go into it with an open mind, I would say. And, and an understanding of the background the children have come from. If you go in with that, and go in with a big heart, and remember they're yours from the day you sign for them in that court. When you go into that courtroom, and you sign for the children. I mean, my little girl, when we went to sign, um, the elder one, I remember sitting on a big table upstairs with the judge and uh, the judge had said, right, who's going to give permission for uh, this adoption to go ahead? <laughs> None of the professionals spoke. Well, my little girl got up and she says, I give you permission, you know, and that was the best thing. Again, you know, these little things count so much when these kids give you love back, you know, it's unbelievable. You know, I make no difference between my adopted or my birth, but it still feels good inside. I'd just like to say, if anybody's thinking of fostering or adopting and you're Muslim, remember the blessing you will get from God for that. But most of all, I can count on one hand how much foster, Muslim foster parents there are out there. There's a lot of Muslim children in care out there, hundreds. And it's our duty to go out there. And I support everyone. And, and I asked everyone, please go out there. Yes, you'll be asked personal questions. But you've got to think it as if, if they were your children and someone was going to look after them. What would you want asked? What would you want done for them? Just remember, you know, there's a lot of love out there that we can, we can give. These kids didn't ask to be put where they are or go through what they've gone through. It's up to you, you know, to go out there and teach them that not everything is bad in life, you know.